cataractcoach.com, and today we're looking at a patient with a very narrow palpebral fissure. You can see we can't even expose the entire top to bottom uh, width of the cornea. Part of the issue is not just the patient's anatomy, but is that she's squeezing her eyelids. She's very nervous. She needs some more sedation. We can't even fit this ring on the eye, the Mendez gauge, to measure her axes. Literally, it won't fit on the eye. It's the same patient at the end of the case. Look, though, much better. Now, we adjust the speculum a little bit, but the key difference is here the patient has been given more systemic sedation. This is typically a benzodiazepine derivative such as midazolam, and that gives enough systemic relaxation that the patient will stop squeezing the eyelids, and we get better exposure. So remember, if you have a patient where there's very narrow palpebral fissure and not a lot of exposure, a very large part of the issue may very well be that the patient is nervous and squeezing. And it helps for them to actually keep both eyes open to avoid the Bell's reflex as well. Now here's a different eye. Look at this exposure. The patient's very relaxed, of course has a little bit different eyelid anatomy as well, but that's a tremendous amount of exposure. And that makes the surgery very easy. It's very easy to drape the eyelashes out of the way. The lashes and the lid margin are far away from our surgical field. Easy exposure for whatever we want to do. If we want to put a Mendez gauge down like before, or even hold the eye with our fixation ring, it's very easy because the access is unobstructed. In addition, this patient doesn't even have a steep brow. You could easily sit superiorly. Another consideration is the patient's brow. If they have deep set eyes and a very prominent brow, sometimes it's difficult to sit superiorly and you're better off sitting temporally like we are here. And as you can see, with the patient given enough systemic sedation and enough exposure here of the operating area, nice wide palpebral fissure, the surgery is going to be a lot easier. Look at the three lights in the center of the eye, the Purkinje image there. Those are the microscope lights. We switch to make it a stronger red reflex, and the patient is able to cooperate and look right in the middle of the lights. That makes it much easier for us. We know, looking at the lights now, where they reflect off the cornea, that's the center of her visual axis. And that's where we want to center up our caps rexus, and of course also center up the lens. And you can see here, Jess, with her cooperation, we're able to create a virtually perfect capsular axis. So next time you're operating and the patient doesn't have good exposure, remember, exposure is key.